HBCU students, we need a break. We need a place, a safe space, where we can come together to talk about racial injustice, mental health, career planning, financial literacy, discernment, hearing the voice of God. We need a place to discuss the pertinent questions and concerns that we have during the pandemics of systemic racism and the coronavirus. Join us at our Kickback HBCU style on October 13th and October 15th as we come together in a safe space, a safe environment to talk about issues affecting HBCU students. Check out the caption or description for details. Your voice matters and we need more unity in this time of division. Thank you so much and I'm excited to see you there. Amen. Good morning and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of daily prayer and song. Today is Friday, October 9th, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you've joined us this morning. We'd also like you to visit our website at stpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can do so by texting the letters SGPC to the number 84576. We promise your information is safe with us. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at 8.30 p.m. and at noon by dialing the number 909-318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Mark Thompson. Thank you, Reverend Webb. For if you do not let my people go. Behold, I will send swarms of flies on you and on your servants and on your people and into your houses and the houses of the Egyptians will be full of swarms of flies and also the ground on which they dwell. Lord, once again, we invoke your presence as we gather for our prayer-demic against this pandemic and this police-demic. Please comfort those who've lost loved ones. Lord, protect those on the front line and in the line of fire. As we gather this morning, please bless our prayer warrior and our minister of music. Lord, continue to bless and uphold the Reverend Dr. Iva Carruthers, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright, and all of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And Lord, please dispatch our ancestors to watch over us. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Ashe and Amen. God bless you and good morning. We greet you in the Zulu language of South Africa with the word sao bonani which means we see all of you we respect all of you we value all of you and most of all all of you are important to us and matter to us our prayer warrior this morning is the pastor and founder of potter's house deliverance tabernacle in tampa and she's a native of sarasota Florida. Dr. Hauser serves, she is also an advocate for uh, the hurting and hopeless in communities around the Tampa Bay area. She's a CEO of Potter's House Community Development, and this is an organization dedicated in providing outreach, assistance, counseling, and comfort to families through services in arts, science, humanities, and health science, especially in the areas of HIV and AIDS. She is also a part of Faith in Florida, a newly formed social justice ministry. She has also been serving as a DJ for the Gospel Classic 
hour at WMNF for over 20 years. Following the music ministry by the Reverend Dr. Ozzy Smith Jr., the next voice you'll hear to lead us into the hills from whence cometh our help will be the Reverend Dr. Patricia A. Hauser. Hear ye her. Amen. morning let us pray our heavenly father we thank you for waking us up first of all this morning but god we adore you lord we uh give you praise and honor for who you are not for what you're doing for us but god for what you stand for God, we thank you for your love. Thank you for your uh, tender mercies. Thank you, God, for uh, the peace that you have given us that pass all understanding. Father, we just praise you. We lift you. Uh, we exalt you. We magnify you. You are wonderful, God. You are our strength. You are mighty. And Lord, we say we praise you. Uh, God, we thank you that we are able to just rise this morning uh, to see a day we've never seen before. And Lord, we come in prayer. We come humble. We come confessing, uh, Lord, our sins and our shortcomings. And we come confessing the things that uh, maybe we've said that we shouldn't have said, uh, things that we should have done that we didn't do. We come confessing and we ask your forgiveness for that. Lord, we repent of any transgressions. We repent, God, of any iniquities, God, we don't want anything standing in the way of our prayers on today. God, we confess any uh, disbelief or disobedience that we may have. Father, uh, forgive us. Forgive me, God, for any thoughts that may have dominated uh, my mind that were not of you. Lord, uh, we just ask now that uh, 
God for this Proctor Conference, this um, this this adjective, God, these preachers, God, um, your children, God, as we come, God, leaning and depending on you. And I say thank you, God, that we're stepping out to pray, God, through uh, heartbreaking times, through some dark times, God. Uh, Lord, we know that we can always come to you, but we need your power now. We need your strength now. God, we need you to, to do what we cannot do. And that's to go into every valley, go into every place, oh God, that um, you are able to do because you're almighty, you're all powerful, you are sovereign. And we say thank you for that, God. Lord Jesus, we pray now your protection, God, upon the people that are on the front line. We pray, God, that you cover them. Cover our homes, oh God. Cover our families, oh God. Lord, people are struggling with businesses um, that they thought would be flourishing. We ask now, God, that you would just cover them, give them strength, give them hope, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have placed us charge to keep and uh, uh, to watch over as overseers. God, give us the insight, give us the knowledge, give us the direction. God, open up channels, open up portals, God, of what we cannot see, but you can see. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you right now for what you've already done. You've uh, been an exposer to the lies, and we say thank you, God. Lord, we are uh, not asking that you would uh, kill somebody, but God, we're asking God that you would allow them to see the hurt that they have caused to other people. So we pray even for them right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for families uh, that are in food lines and uh, families that are in the dark right now. We pray in the name of Jesus, even natural disasters of, of storms that are coming and fires. God, we pray, God, that even in this, your glory, God, uh, will be seen and your message will get to your people. Oh, God, we pray now, uh, Father, for uh, uh, just the fact that <clears throat> we have a right, God, uh, to be treated equally in this country, oh, God. So we pray for all the injustices, God. We pray now for those uh, young leaders that are coming, God, to give them the strength to fight on, uh, the courage uh, to face, God, the systemic racism and classism and sexism, oh, God. We ask in the name of Jesus, God, um, give them what they need. Give them the, the resources that are needed, God, in, in this fight, oh God. Father, we pray now uh, that our, our prayers will be heard, our prayers will be received. Hear our prayers, oh God, for you are the God on the mountain. You're the God in the valley, and there is nothing that is not unseen by you. So Lord, touch right now. God, prevail right now. Give victory right now. Lord, we even pray for those that are challenged with um, mental health issues right now. God, that <clears throat> the, the, the social workers and uh, those that are uh, attempting to help, God, families that are, uh, um, have disasters, Lord, we pray for them right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, just lead us. Holy Spirit, let us be sensitive to your leading and let us be extra sensitive, God, to your direction. We are your children, oh God. Help us, oh God. Cover us, guard us, protect us, oh God, that and lead us as we uh, take back that which the enemy has stolen, oh God. Help us to possess the gates of the enemy and uh, everything that God has, has been kept from people who are in need. God, touch right now. Oh God, let your will be done. Lord, let our desires and your desire line up, oh God, that only God, you will get the praise. God, you will get the glory. God, you will get the honor, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Touch right now bodies that are sick. Touch right now, God, someone that need an extra uh, encouragement, a word. Uh, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for your redeeming love. Thank you for your power. Thank you, oh God, for all that you do for us. And God, thank you for the victory yet to be won. Help us in this fight, oh God. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are humble servants, oh God who love you and who honor you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we just want to serve you, God. And we say thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. We speak against any fear, any doubt. We speak against anything, God, that the enemy has set up, any traps, and we know that we have life and death in the power of our tongue. So Lord, according to your word in Job 22, 28, we shall decree a thing. We shall decide a thing. You will establish it in the light of your favor. We'll shine on it. So God, we decree and declare victory. We decree and declare that we're overcomers. We decree and we declare God that we will fight and we will win. We decree and declare, God, that your blessings will rest on your people everywhere. Thank you for this time of prayer. Thank you for this time of prevailing. Thank you for this time of speaking and talking to you, God. We thank you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify you, we exalt you, we esteem you, we lift you up, for you are our God. You're our strength, you're our hope, you are our desire, and we love you. Grant us peace, let your face shine upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> Registration for the 2021 Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference is now open. And for the first time ever, the Proctor Conference will be offered as a virtual experience for attendees. The 2021 conference theme is Holy Rage, Holy Hope, Radical Reimagination for Transforming Communities. You don't want to miss this? Please visit our website to register as soon as you can so you can still catch the early bird rate. 
Whether you are a pastor, a student, a seminarian, a lay leader, an activist, you want to be in this virtual space. Remember the dates, February 22nd through the 25th. Please visit our website to register today www.sdpconference.info HBCU students, we need a break. We need a place, a safe space, where we can come together to talk about racial injustice, mental health, career planning, financial literacy, discernment, hearing the voice of God. We need a place to discuss the pertinent questions and concerns that we have during the pandemics of systemic racism and the coronavirus. Join us at our Kickback HBCU style on October 13th and October 15th as we come together in a safe space, a safe environment to talk about issues affecting HBCU students. Check out the caption or description for details. Your voice matters, and we need more unity in this time of division. Thank you so much, and I'm excited to see you there. Young people ages 18 and up are being sought after to serve as poll workers in our upcoming general election. We are seeking English and Spanish speaking poll workers who will be paid to serve and assist those who will be at the polls on November 3rd. Visit www.proctorpowerthepolls.com. Again, that's www.proctorpowerthepolls.com today for more information and to sign up. Amen. We hope you will heed all of the urgent announcements. And there's just one more. We invite you to support the work for justice and vision of the Proctor Conference, please go to our website, sdpconference.info and click on the Invest Contribute tab. Or you can find the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference on Givelify. We are blessed and grateful to be in community with you. If all hearts and minds are clear, Dear Lord, we thank you for our mighty prayer word today. And as always, we thank you for our minister of music. Now to you who are able to keep us from falling at all times, but especially now amidst the pestilence and the police, amidst this Ronin racism, amidst this confederacy and the cops, and you who are able to make us to stand healed from illness, grief and fear in the presence of your glory with rejoicing. May thy rich grace impart strength to our fading hearts, our zeal inspire. Mm. As thou hast died for me, mm. oh, may my love to thee pure, warm and changeless be a living fire in the names of our ancestors and the black Christ we pray and the people of God said ashe and amen have a wonderful and safe weekend continue to pray please and we'll see you back here bright and early Monday morning God bless you all <laughs>